cotton farming ain't the easiest to work back in the 20s. It ain't even really the easiest to work nowadays. But back in the 20s, a field like this could fetch 30 cents a pound. It wouldn't make you rich, but it would provide for your family. And at the end of the day, Jake, like most men, he just wanted to provide for his family. Providing for your family back then meant a whole different thing, see. We didn't need to provide internet or fancy vacations or trips around the world. He just needed food. And to get that food, that man worked whatever hours he had to work. But then prices started to tank. They got all the way as low as a nickel a pound. Most farmers couldn't hold on to their farms their homes, their families. Hell, some farmers even lost more at the height of the Great Depression. The fear of watching his family starve to death, well, that was just more than Jake, like most men, could probably take. And he snapped. He lost it. He couldn't handle it. So, <coughs> Jake killed his family, starting with his kids, then his wife, then eventually, horrified by what he had done, Jake tied a noose around his neck and jumped off a bridge. Internetians, what is good today? We're doing a Texas coast ride. And by we, I mean Vicky and I. Or I and Vicky, me and Vicky, Vicky and me. We are going to go see Jake's Bridge out in Hutto, Texas. And I've done something that I've never done before. I put in the destination of Goggle Maps here, and I said, Goggle, avoid highways and toll roads. And so, for the most part, that's what's happened. Until now, we are riding the access road of Texas 130 toll. So technically, yes, we are avoiding a highway and we are avoiding a toll road, but for Pete's sake, Goggle, give me a freaking break. I mean, riding the access road is not exactly what I had in mind by avoiding highways, bro. Anyway, up until now, it's been a pretty nice scenic route. We got to see a big fat billy goat. Well, I didn't see one. Vicky saw the big fat billy goat. Um, metal, a big fat metal billy goat. Uh, a pretty, we got to see a pretty river. Yeah. The Grand Tour of Martindale. All 10 houses in a storage container. We didn't blink, so we got it all in one shot. And uh, now here we are avoiding Toll roads and highways. So we're gonna go see old Jake's bridge. Back in the depression days, the guy Jake, I guess, he was having a hard time. Uh, <laughs> that guy? Yeah, that guy. He was having a hard time see, uh, feeding his family because, you know, it was the depression. So <clears throat> he came up with a very ingenious way of not having to deal with that responsibility anymore. What he did was he killed his family. The way the story goes, the guilt got to him, so he, he, uh, I think he hung himself off the bridge. Um, there's a version of the story that is, um, he killed his parents, stuffed them in a car, and drove the car off the bridge. They tore the bridge down and they built another one in its place. It used to be an old wooden bridge, now it's not. <laughs> so we're gonna go check it out and uh, see what it's all about later. It feels spooky in this one over here. <laughs> well, they just mean right there. Yeah. Well, I got enough gravel here to last me a freaking. Sorry, we forgot the dog. <laughs> we'll be right back. It says no parking, but do you think, like, it's monitored by ghosts? You wanna find out? I mean, we're gonna have to. All right. Don't get 
too adventurous on me now, damn it. Oh. Kind of creepy in here. Huh? Kind of creepy. It is. You hear people? Okay, so it's not just me. No. So, like, the rivers, was it higher back then? Because, like, if he put his parents in the car. Just the car through. Where's the car at? <laughs> I'm calling bullshit. I mean, that was only fucking 100 years ago. <laughs> I thought I heard a whisper, and then I heard that. I was like, what the fuck's going on? Uh, like, all the voices over there <laughs> not helping the situation. Maybe it is, I don't know. I'll tell you one thing, it's a pain in the ass to get a good good shot with this ground and this light. I need my lights. Quiet on set, please. Oh, here, here's a good spot. Like, I feel like I, my hair just got pulled. What a beautiful place to hang yourself. We are under Jake's Bridge. We're under Jake's Bridge because on top of Jake's Bridge, people are fucking lunatics. So. Yeah, 30 miles an hour. Yeah, I think the only thing 30 miles an hour up there is a dead gum. Whatever, we'll go 30 miles an hour. Jake's Bridge, back in the Depression days, 1929 era. Yes. Jake was having a hard time feeding his family. So he came up with this great idea on how he could provide for them. And so what he did was is he killed them. And so- Mercy kill. Mercy kill, yeah. I mean- Don't starve. We'll just take care of it right now. Guy was ingenious, you know? Anyway, so um, a couple of weeks goes by and he's like, man, this is bullshit. I can't believe I did that. I miss my family, whatever. He was feeling all of the guilt. And so he came to this bridge back in the 20s, 1929 tied a noose around his neck and jumped off. That's one version of the story anyway. The other version is, is that he um, he killed his parents and uh, stuffed them in a car and then pushed the car off the bridge. That's the other version. Now, when I was telling Chase about that, he goes, uh, why didn't he sell the car? So maybe that version's bullshit, but the other version we're gonna stick with. So here we are, Jake's Bridge, take a look around. Just don't fall. So apparently we aren't the only ones who like hanging out here at Jake's Bridge. Can't really see that in there, but trust me. It's, um, there's some, art. there's some artwork. Stop. Next stop, let's go get spooked. That's a, that's a pretty bad shot. Don't fall backwards. Don't fall back, babe. Just don't fall back. Please don't fall back. You're making me, you're making me feel like I'm gonna fall. I'm when just you touching. Do, I'm not gonna fall. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Are you good? I'm great. Uh-huh. Yeah. We're not doing anything shady at all. 